this is just fun. That's fine. And let me tell you something about women. When women have children with a man and they find out that he's really trying to move on, I'm not saying I'm not gonna say it's a bad thing. Because it's the same thing I would have done. Because I'm not gonna have this man over here buying this girl, this buying this girl that while I have to argue with him to take care of his own kids. I'm not gonna do that. Thank you, Jojo Bless. So let me tell you something about, about women, ex-wives, baby mamas. When they was with a man that they loved, they shit it on their ass. And now they break up because of him. Most of the time it's because of him cheating, doing the most. She got to go. It's not that she don't love him. It's that she got to she gotta break that up for her peace. And he move on with somebody else, especially if it's somebody else that look better than her. First thing she going to think, he's spending money on this bitch. He might be. He should. But should he spend his children's money on another woman? Should he take care of his children first before he give another woman some money? Yes, the fuck he should. You're messing with people with kids. You come second or third. You could even come fourth. Third is a good number if you're fucking with somebody with kids. If they say, oh, you come third in my life, say thank you. Let them kids come first, honey. You can't compete with children. Good people don't compete with children. So when you're messing with a man with kids, it's a 99% chance that he broke. Can't do nothing for you. Half of them want you to help them pay their child support. When they don't pay their child support, they heat at your house all week. They want you to, they want you to pack them lunch because they came by lunch. Ain't nobody want that? I put my head to wife first, my two kids, then me. You see? You see? That's what this man said. He put his ex-wife first, his two kids, then himself. So guess what, bitch? You fourth. You fourth. And it's not like you could be fourth and still be happy. But you got to be reasonable. You could be fourth and still be happy because guess what? He might have enough love to pass around. He might have enough love to pass around. And if you're not in a competition and you don't give a fuck, and you're like, okay, all right, he's doing what I want him to do for me. Because that's how I look at men. Okay. He's doing for me what I require of him. I'm not getting his, him and his kids' business. Her man is mama business. Her man is fine. I'm not getting in nobody business. We're going to do our business. That part. So... I don't know. I don't know how to date men that have a baby mama. I don't, I, 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 I just wouldn't. I would just be like, you know what, sir? You got too much on your plate. We probably could be friends. I could fuck you if I feel like it. But we're not going to delude ourselves into pretending like something is going to happen here. Because we know anything. Nothing is going to happen here. You got baggage. But how many people do we meet that are our age 34 plus with no baggage? That's a, that's a good one. Because I was in, you know, I was talking to people about younger girls talking to older men and they was they was condemning it and for one younger girls talking to older men is a must why men mature way slower than women a girl that's 22 talking to a boy that's 22 is wasting her time she's gonna need somebody that's at least 32 I wouldn't say to go over, 10, go over 10 years older unless you're looking for a sugar daddy. But if you're looking for a mate as a woman, you're going to need somebody at least 10 years older than you. Because men mature slower. Are not at all. They don't mature at all. So if you're a woman and you're 22 and your boyfriend is 25, you can't be mad at him when he said, hey, everything got to be 50-50. Because you are a starter wife or a starter girlfriend. He's not ready. He's not experienced enough. He hasn't established enough in life to take care of you, to know what is required of him. He's still trying to live out his young days. Go out with his friends, buy Jordans, buy Yeezys. Older men already did that, or they have no desire to do it. But older men have baggage, a lot of baggage. But you just got to know how men have baggage. You got to just choose your baggage, honey. And I prefer to talk to somebody 45 between 40 and 45, I can't talk to too much old men. Because 90% of the time, even if they have kids, their kids grown. They're either off child support or something. So I prefer to talk to men with 
grown children. I'm not going to go through that baby mama shit with you. You're going to court with her. The kids got to come over for the weekend. And no, sir. No. You don't get to just walk away and be free. And I understand. No. We got to we, I mean, sometimes it's, when they say choose better, it's really not much to choose from. A lot of women, or your, both of yours are grown. Okay, mine's too. Listen, a lot of women are compelled to be with men that's less than perfect. We're all less than perfect. I'm less than perfect. But a lot of women see big flags, big red flags. It's this woman that's going to be in your life forever if you choose this man. But they still do because of the amount of eligible men that we have. The ratio is not pretty between men and women. The quality of men is even worse than the ratio. So sometimes you say, shit, I got to deal with something, the fuck. And everybody got something that they can deal with. Because some women don't have no problem helping that man to pay his child support, knowing he's back and forth with her and the child's mother, knowing the kids don't respect her, knowing ain't nothing in it for her. I'm 27 and 37, and we have kids and I see him, him date younger and still cheats on her. Listen, if you're 27 and 37 and he's dating younger, he's full of it. You are younger. He old. For you, you cheat. You're going to cheat on anybody. Let me tell you something about cheating. Since we're since we getting there. If he cheats on you, he'll cheat on anybody. It doesn't matter what you look like. It's not what you look like why he's cheating. If he wasn't attracted to you, he wouldn't be fucking with you in the first place. So don't be like, oh, it's because my belly is big, or my titties are long, or my ass is flat. It ain't none of that, honey. It ain't none of that. It's not how you look. It is him. Cheating is a sport to him. And he's going to cheat every opportunity he gets. He got opportunity, he got motives, he gonna cheat with whoever or whatever. You don't matter how young you are. That's why when I hear people talk about this, that, I'm like, listen, listen, child. Ain't nobody gonna take my confidence. Cheat on me if you want. That's your fucking dick. Yeah. Cheat on me if you want. That's, you, that's, that, that's your dick. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's not gonna make me get up and look in the mirror and see myself any different. Because you chose to go use the little raggedy dick with no ambition. Because what are you doing it for? If I do it, I'm going to get something. I promise you, I'm going to get something. But you do it and you ain't getting nothing. I'm supposed to feel bad because you put your dick in a ugly bitch. I'll drink wine. Give me a minute. Somebody at my door. Mm -hmm. You cheat and I, sh and I should cry. Yes, yes. Y'all enjoying my life so far? Who laughing? What you laughing for? Yeah, so don't worry about them and why they cheat and how many boyfriend you have. I don't have a, I don't have any. That's my, that's my, uh, my best friend. He bought me dinner. I don't have a boyfriend. Can a 23-year-old guy date a 27-year-old girl with a kid? It depends on the girl. I, I, I like this question. I'm glad that men are tuning in too. Cause I be, I be, I be bashing men sometimes and then I be feeling bad because I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to help men too, but 23 and she's 27 with a kid. She might be a good girl. She might be a good girl, but she have to be in a position to, to take care of her own, her own child. You can, that can't be your responsibility. You're too young for that. You can help. Cause if you love her, you're going to have to love her child. Both of y'all are young. Honestly, if y'all want to be serious about each other, this is a good opportunity for y'all to grow together. She, she got a kid, okay. She's a beautiful girl. She's independent. She takes care of herself. She takes care of her child. The child is young enough to see you as a father. That's, that's the only way it's going to work. If you're dating her, for, for real, for real. Not just, but for real, for real. So if she's a girl that's ambitious, she either go to school or she go to work. She take care of her responsibility. She take care of her kid. Her kid is disciplined. 
She hold her baby daddy accountable because yes, I said accountable because a lot of women do not hold their baby daddies accountable. They want to get in a relationship with a whole man and ex expect him to play stepfather, be the best stepfather, while daddy walk around and sling dick making more kids, talking about you a strong black woman. No, ain't no man going to fuck with you. You got to hold a man that give you a child accountable. Anybody that thinks you're wrong for that is not somebody you should be talking to. So yes, sir. If she's holding her baby daddy accountable, she's working. She's capable of taking care of her own child. Of course, you're going to help. You're a man. Yes, it's a good age for y'all to work together. Ain't, ain't, ain't much difference. And sometimes when they hold it on you, they treat you better. So yeah, you, 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 you might be onto something. Don't listen to other men either. Because they're, they're jealous. Other men are jealous. But her baby daddy still get the privilege. That part too. That part too. Oh, you are one beautiful black woman. Oh, thank you. Believe what you want. How about a 26-year-old girl dating a 38-year-old with a kid? What age? Is it? I mean, I'm always asking what age is the kid. He's 38 years old. His kid can't be that old. So obviously he's in the kid life. And is he in court? Is he, is he and the mama good? Are y'all serious? What is it? Because first of all, he's more than... He's more than 10 years older than you. So that, that might be, you need a podcast. Thank you. I love your dress. You rock it well. Oh, it's not a dress. It's a top and a bottom. But thank you anyway. You look wonderful, girl. Thank you, pretty lady. Um, yeah, but uh, age is always an issue, honey. Let me tell you something about age. Age is always an issue. Any gap over 10 years is sugar daddy and, is sugar, daddy and sugar mama. Because when you, when you mess with somebody... Ooh, you don't like the same music they like. That's a problem because you're going to be listening to trap and you're going to be listening to them whole shit that you don't even like. You're going to be over here talking one way and you're going to be talking another way. You're going to like one kind of sex and you're going to like something else. You cannot. You're not compatible with somebody over 10 years older than you unless you're going to allow them to break you. Or if they're open like that. And men are normally not. Like they are what they are, especially after a certain age. They're stuck in their ways. Have you ever heard the term? They're stuck in their ways? Yes. So age is, age is everything. You have to find somebody that you're close enough in age to. But it's fine for the guy to be older than the girl. It is fine. If she's 18 and he's 28, no. She's a child. And he's a, he's a predator. That's so not true. It's probably not true for everybody, honestly. I'm not going to say it's true for everybody because I'm not over here trying to tell everybody what's right from wrong because a lot of situations... Listen, I'm 24 and he's 49. That's sugar daddy. No, that's sugar daddy. Make sure that man giving you money. What's why pre would, would as if you look, but I'm not... Plus, I don't think he wants to get married. He's been married before. So you're wasting your time then, boo. He wasting your time. He's 38, you're 26. He don't want to get married. He was married before. He's trying to steal your youth. Keep it pushing. He is trying to steal your youth. I'm 31 and he's 47. 31 is a grown woman. 27 and 37. That's not bad either. I use the five-year rule. Five years older or younger. That's a good one. I like that. Five years younger. I'm not going anybody younger. Like, honestly, I... I have tried to date guys my own age, and they motherfuckers be trying to look at me like. I said, and I realized guys my age don't got no money for me. I mean, I've talked to younger guys that had money, but whatever, it was no serious nothing. But guys my age be either they trying to raise their kids or they ain't get there yet. And nah, I I I I, I, I can't don't know I can't date nobody that ain't find themselves in life. If you ain't find yourself yet. No, you two, um, you can't be over 30 years old trying to date somebody who haven't found themselves. That's why I say go 10 years higher as women. 22 and 52, sugar daddy or sugar mama business. If, if you are 20, whatever, being with him for three years, I wasted my youth. You haven't wasted it if it's three years, just fucking leave him. Just, you haven't wasted your youth. I ain't wasted my youth and I'm 37. I still got my youth. You think a nigga gonna take my youth? 
If I'm talking to you for six months and I ain't seen no progress, I'm not even talking about a title either. I'm talking about growth, financial growth, my credit score getting better, me upgrading my life, living better than I was living before I met him, saving money, going out, taking trips. If I'm not seeing any kind of growth in six months, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to start doing like this, Back it, backing up because what, what are we doing? What are we doing? And in a year, I, I'm no. Bye. Bye. So three years, for me, that's forever. But for you, no, you good. You'll be all right. She's entitled. I am entitled. I am entitled. Yes. Very, 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 very entitled. How many pages you got? I missed you. I only got this one. What we done in? I don't even remember how to be in a relationship anymore. It's been so long. Thank you, Tally Bless. Listen, relationships are not for everybody, and we should, we should stop stressing them. We should stop stressing them. They, they call me entitled. 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 Yeah, I mean, I'm entitled to being treated properly, as, as every human being should be. Because I'm a good person. I'm, 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 I might not say it a lot, because I'm not trying to have anybody come stuck on me and be like, oh, no. I am a good person, and I give. So the, the fact that I give so much of myself, I am entitled. If you can't give me what I give you, or better, if you can't treat me the way I treat myself, you don't have any reason to be around me. It ain't that serious. You could go find somebody else who you could treat any how you like. It ain't gotta be me. And it, it ain't never gonna be me. What do you give? What do you give? What you want? I give my time, my presence, myself. If it's not good enough for you, fine. It ain't for you. Yes, exactly. Tattoos and piercing checks, baby. I don't even count. I just get it if I like it and then I just get another one. I don't count no more. That's for kids. Nothing wrong with having requirements or standards for your life. Listen. Men are always going to attack you when you don't settle for bare minimum or less. Because a lot of these women would settle for bare minimum. Bare minimum is a date before you actually want to smash. Bare minimum is you giving a bitch money to go get her nails done. Ask her if she eats. Send her some food. That's bare minimum. Sleeping in our house, have they paid the light bill? It's only a hundred dollars. That's bare minimum, honey. And a lot of men are not doing that. You ask for that, you're asking for too much. But I'm not a bare minimum kind of girl, so I'm very entitled. Don't tell them what you want, because they'll be that person for a minute. I don't tell them nothing. I want everything. You think ultimatums are ultimatums are never good. If you gotta give a man an ultimatum, move on. I have done it before. Ultimatums are never good. Ultimatums is you knowing that, listen, this year is done. Let me tell you, they're too damn cheap. They are cheap and they are broke and they like being broke. They like being broke because when they're broke, you can't ask them for nothing because they don't got it. Do you know that a lot of men do not achieve anything in life because they don't want to have anything to give to women? And those are the ones that sweat you the fucking most. They be in your inbox, they be in your DM, they be um, um, arcing you on the street, they be driving you down at the light. Those are the ones that talk to women the most. Men that's capable do not speak to women. Every time I meet a man that was good and was nice to me and treated me like a lady, take me out, spend his money. I was the one who saw him and said, hi, how you doing? That's why when men talk to me, I don't talk to them. I choose my men. If you get an older fella, he must worship you. I don't know. These motherfucking niggas ain't shit, whether they hold or young. I don't know if he worship me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These little boys that be running behind you in the street. What's up, ma? Can I get your number? Oh, oh, you look good. Blah, 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 blah. No. Our hats and straight up. What do you got for me? Because he don't. And ladies, let me tell you something. We're not playing anymore. Thank you for the gifts, ladies. Let me tell you something. 
You need to leave these little boys to go find themselves. If women were not talking to them when they don't have any money, they would have to go get some money. They don't have any money. They don't have any game. They don't have any manners. They don't have any respect. But you are still laying with them. Like, how do you let a man talk to you like that, but you still lay with him? He's like, these men are like, back in the day, men used to pretend to be somebody else to get with a woman. No? They come straight up and tell you, bitch, I ain't shit. Listen, I see some people reading out some profiles from dating apps because I've never been on a dating app. I get enough men walking out my door, going to Walmart, going to Publix, fucking going to the park. Like, I ne I've never been on a dating app. I never had to be on a dating app. Good luck to people that do it because a lot of people are socially awkward. I'm not. But I see this lady posting some bios from dating apps. And let me tell you something. These men are straight up saying that they ain't shit. And guess what? Still getting played. Oh, women just twerk and eat meat. That's true. Most men today are spoiled. Children, all emotional. Yes. Yes. It's like they're so entitled. It's like they're like, I am the prize. I am the woman. So if you was the prize, why are you talking to women in the street? If you are the prize, women should be coming up to you, talking to you. Trying to say, hey, can I take you out? I'll pay. You wouldn't have to be out here hawking women, bullying women, trying to have women lower their standards just so you could reach them. Are you listening to me? If you were the prize, you wouldn't have to have women out here lowering their standards just so you could reach them. She got to lower her standards because you're that small. And if you're that small, you can't be the prize. That's why I say when I get a man, I get a prize. Because I see what I want and I go for it and I talk to them. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Kim. What is your name? Oh, you look good. I like your shirt. That's a prize. I see what I want. But y'all ain't no prize. Out here trying to bully women. Like women ain't deserving of nothing. You run behind her just to tell her you're the prize. What kind of fucking reverse psychology is this? Huh? I still do here, baby, yeah. But you must be scaring the good ones. I oh, won't provide. Because I can't be good to you if I gotta be busting my ass thinking, oh, am I gonna pay my half of, of anything? I'm not gonna be good. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna be tired too. Don't touch me. I, don't, I, I like to scare men. Scare men are scared for a reason. I like to scare men. I've been doing it all my life and I've never been without a man unless I want to be. Yep. And I scare men all my life. And everywhere I go, they be yawking me like, hey, like, bitch, don't you see I don't like men? I curse y'all. Why are you talking to me? Thank you, Natey. No, I'm not in New York. I'm the prize. Women just give choosing, choosing signal. You're full of shit. If a man said he's the prize, he's not the prize. I need my hair done. I'm in Florida, baby. You only look insult me in a diplomatic way. I don't have to be diplomatic about it. I'm not one of those. I don't have to be diplomatic about it. I believe in hypergamy. I don't have to be diplomatic about it. I talk to men that got money. Men that's not worried about anybody using them. If he's worried and he's still stacking his bread, I'm not the woman for him. If he's still trying to come up, he's still trying to buy a house, he's still trying to do whatnot, I'm not the woman for him. I, 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 don't, I don't hustle men. I do not hustle men. Men know what they need to do when they, when they meet me. And I know what I need to do. I'm not crying, baby. This DM should be irritating my nose. You're looking for the same thing every woman want. Money and to be spoiled. And to be loved. To be provided for. To be taken care of. Half and half, you're going half and half. He's just taking the other half, spending it with his boys. Or fucking give it to, giving it to the girl you really want. Most men I intimidate the ones I don't intimidate usually worth it. Yes, if you intimidate him, that's good. You should, you, that's good. That's very, very good when you intimidate them. That, that, that shows you he's weak and he's not for you. And he's telling you, oh, I like you, but you do. You're like, okay, bye. Are you Jamaican? Yes, I'm Jamaican, honey. She's not work though. She's speaking about her preferences though. Anyone has an issue, just leave that part. And 
it's, it's not even about my preferences. It's about having women see that you don't have to drop your st like. I, 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 I don't believe that there's a woman on her that's gonna just sleep with a man and not expect anything. If she does it, she gonna expect that she could either call that guy if she needs something, which she might never need nothing. He gonna at least say, hey baby, here is some money. Go get your nails done. Okay, let me take you out to heat. Let me take you shopping. He ain't gotta do everything, but she's thinking she gonna get something. So the ones that pretend like they don't want anything just don't know how to bring it across. They just don't know how to get it. They're lying. They're lying. There's no way you see a man and you just lay up there and just just like like just give him access to your body, your life, everything, your womb, every God Almighty thing, and just expect nothing. That must be a sickness. You gotta be sick. Somebody got some somebody got somebody gotta do you wrong, girl. Everybody expects something. You expect that he gonna marry you. You expect that he, if you if you if you if you got a flat tire in the middle of the road, he gonna come and he gonna help you change your tire or he gonna wash your car. You expecting something? If I ever ever had a honest man, yes. I love you because you speak the truth. Yes, Kim. The only thing me expect was love because that's why you didn't get it. But them days are done. Yeah. When you only expect love, you ain't going to get it. He, he got a duty to you the same way you got a duty to him, honey. He got a duty to you the same way you got a duty to him. Don't let nobody tell you you're asking for too much. Because when a woman lay with a man, she's losing something. Don't you hear them talk about people and bodies and this, that, and the third? You are losing something. You lay with him, you could get her pregnant. You don't have to see him again. He could be gone. He could have give you a wrong name. Fucking come pick you up in his friend's car, get the coochie, left you pregnant, now he's gone. Men don't lose anything when they have sex with women. We are the only one that loses something when we have sex with men. That's why they say we lose value because they are the ones who don't have any value. So when you mess with them, they take your value. You lose your value if you didn't get anything. He didn't take you to heat. Like, oh, oh how did he even get it? Yep. So that's why when women say we want men to do this and we want men to do that, that's why. Because imagine, even if he, does, if he doesn't run away, imagine laying with a man. Oh, I like him. He's so fine. I need some wine now. Give me five seconds. I'll be back. Imagine, imagine laying with a guy because you like him. And that's, it's fine, it's fine to like who you're laying with. It's, it's very fine. You should, you should like who you're laying with. Even prostitutes like who they lay with sometimes. So imagine laying with a guy just because you like him. But he, he've never impressed you. He's never done anything to show you that he even like you back. He's just laying with you. And you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm, you know, I'm with this guy. And next month come, you don't get your period. It's one or two things you're going to do. You're going to either have that kid that's going to be a shackle to your legs for the next millions of years until you die. Are you going to terminate? Either of them is going to take work and they're going to take money. Imagine, imagine laying with a guy who did nothing for you and you have to go through that. Like, imagine how you're going to feel about yourself. Like, damn, I let a man that didn't even take me out to heat. Yes, STD. Why I don't talk about STDs enough? I don't talk about STDs enough and I need to because there's so many people. Imagine. He didn't give you nothing but a STD. Get you pregnant. You're the only one left in pain because you're going to feel some pain whether you have it or you don't. So why can't you demand that this man do right by you until he left? While you're with me, do right by me. When you go, you go. That's not being entitled. That's being a woman. That's being a woman. That's because you have something to lose. And a CD that you can't cure to that part. 
Yeah, young women better listen to this lady. Thank you. I'm not perfect. You think I'm up here being perfect? I'm probably worse than all of y'all. I had my yammy days. I had my days when I was making so much money, I never cared if a guy gave me none. Oh, I'm making my own money. I don't care. He ain't got to give me no money. But in the meantime, he's giving it to another bitch. And he had all kind of access. Raw sex, all kind of shit. Because I'm feeling like I'm the one using him. No, he was the one using me. He was getting a free ride. And the minute shit wasn't good and I needed help, I asked and a motherfucker ran. Because he's used to not doing anything. And that's what we do as women. You cannot expect to start a relationship on one foot, then you switch it on the other foot. You have to start a relationship being up front, sir. This is what I am, this is what I do, and this is what I require. Thank you, Pash Girl. I am not going to wait until I need you to have you put a check on the table at the beginning of the month. You're going to put it there, and I'm going to keep it until I need it. It doesn't matter what you see me with. If you see me with the nicest car, the nicest this, the nicest that, you are still going to come here, and you are still going to be a man. Somebody laughing. That's true. That's why I told my ex-wife to leave. Why you tell her to leave? Yeah. You are still going to be a man. I'm not going to wait until I need something. No. And a real man ain't going to wait until you need something either. To be quite honest, it ain't much of them. That's going to just offer. Okay, let me take you out. Okay, he's going to come over and he's going, what, what do you want to eat? Like, okay, do you want me to bring something? A real man gonna hax you when he come into your house, even if you never hax him for a dollar. Do you want me to bring something? Thank you, Katty. A man, a real man, that's not a leech. The government made y'all treat men like y'all do with Section 8. I don't get Section 8 or food stamps, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't want that kind of negativity over here. The government don't let nobody do nothing because if men were living up to their responsibilities, the women would need the government. I'm the one I think the government shouldn't be giving nobody shit. Your baby daddy should be paying child support. You're on the wrong page with that. I do not ask the government for a motherfucking thing. That's why I let men that jump on top of me take care of me. The government did not sleep with me. I do not have a food stamp card. Yeah, I do not let the government take care of me, honey. I've always worked for mine, whatever fuck I had to do. And I had to raise three kids by my goddamn self. And then even still help my family. So no, that ain't, no, nah, I don't live in housing. My rent is $1,550. Nothing sexier than a man that acts like a man. I didn't say that. You said the government let women treat men the way they treat men. And I don't know, because I'm Jamaican. So it's like people is, people is using this these terms and these stuff and always want to blame somebody else. Fox no printer, take care of your own pitney and choose proper men. Yes! Choose men with jobs, not Pookie that sell weed. You can't take Pookie to court. You can't hold him responsible. Pookie doesn't have any money. You're going to get $17 a month from Pookie. Stop having Pookie fuck you. I said if it's only 10 men in this world that have money, that should be the only 10 men. Thank you, Stushi, with access to women. The hazard should go level up. Oh, I'm going to let P Pookie get me pregnant because Pookie is cute. And I'm going to have a cute baby, a cute hungry baby. A cute hungry baby. With dyslexia because Pookie is slow. Half of y'all be having these slow ass men getting y'all pregnant. How do you expect your children to be brilliant if your baby daddy is slow and you slow? Yeah, don't cry. It's a goddamn truth. I've been seeing these women having kids with these men and I'm looking like, my kids be geniuses. You hear me? I got my first two kids in college and the other one said she want to be a psychiatrist. And let me tell you something. If she says she going to be that, that's what the fuck she going to be. And I'm like, how did I get these brilliant children? You know why? Because I choose brilliant men. I choose brilliant men. I'm not going to let no, no so ass nigga lay up on top of me. Because the least my kids going to be is motherfucking brilliant. 
Cause my mama never had no slow ass kids. All my mama kids brilliant. She never had no money. But she, she made sure she gave us looks and she gave us brains. We are fine and we are smart. All my mama kids smart. All my kids smart. Y'all should, should, should pick who y'all have children with. He didn't always all about the money all the time, but he still should be able to take care of his child. But y'all having kids with these men because, oh, he's handsome and he's cute. Fuck, I'm handsome enough for both of us. I'm hand he could look like Shrek. I'm handsome enough for both of us. Can he take care of a child? How much am I get? That's how you have kids. You don't have kids because somebody's cute. A lot of people have these motherfucking kids with uh, people have all these generational curses. And you just go swoop your ass in their family and pick up all of that. You just jump in their little nasty family and you see that you just pick up all of that because you want a good looking kid, a light skinned kid. It's always about the skin too. I don't even know where the fuck y'all, who taught y'all. And you got them kids, juvenile delinquents, God forbid. I like kids, but I'm saying, if they're rotten from the core, you can't change them. Or you're going to change them when they're bad breed. Yeah, Willie Lynch. All my kids dark skin. I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't care. I didn't care that there was going to be, and I know there was going to be, it didn't, it didn't matter to me. These kids be on drugs in, in, in their mama belly. I need to share this live. Please do. Please share this live. And please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's in my bio. It's called The Kim Moore Show. And it's in my bio. Because I post my lives on YouTube. So you can go see my other lives. And they're all lit. All of them lit. Worse than this. Crazy lit. So go and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. You can't miss it. Yeah, I got a subscriber already. Thank you, Fabiola. I'm subscribing. Yes, please do. Where is it? Listen, and a lot of women will sit here and be like, damn, I made a mistake. It's too late for me. Even men. Some men be picking up these freaking trash ass bitches because they light skin. Our cause, oh, she got good coochie. Sir, you better choose the mother of your children. You better choose the mother of your children. And do not let the mother of your children choose you. That is where half of the problem in this world starts. By us not choosing properly who we have children with. You ain't got to marry the person you have children with, you know. But you're going to have to live with them forever. That's not something you can say, okay, I don't want to fuck with you no more. You're going to have to live with them forever. So yes, wait. Don't just get somebody pregnant. Wait. Give it three years. Give it five years. Yes, I said five years. And if she already got kids, that's a good indication of how she is as a mother. You watch her, how she treats her other children. Okay, would I have children with this woman? Sure. Thank you, Nate Williams. Will I have to, would I have children with this woman? Suppose I die and I can't take care of my kids. How is she going to treat them? Would she, is she going to allow another man to come in here and abuse my children because I'm not here? That's what good people do. The poor kids don't give a fuck. But I, I'm certain I'm talking to good people. I'm talking to good people who want good things in their lives. Stop walking around making children. It's not making you more of a man. It's taking from you. You are spreading yourself thin. By the time you're 35, you're trying to get married. You're not even married material. You're paying child support for three kids. I said three because I'm Jamaican. That's how we talk. You're paying child support for three kids. No, you ain't got nothing for your wife. Because nobody told you. Your mama didn't tell you that wasn't going to help you. And she should have. Because you're going to pay for them. You will pay for them one way or another. If you don't pay now, you're going to pay later. You will pay for them. Running around with all these women, making yourself broke. Because even if you buy her a four for four, you're still spending some money. Invest in one woman. You can't invest in everybody. That's tricking. Exactly, some men learn late, but learn still. Some of, them when it, some of them learn when it's late and it's not helpful. At that point, it's not helpful anymore. You're so pretty. Thank you. 
When you're 45, learning that you should have kept your dick in your pants and stop impregnating women in your 20s is not helpful anymore. You're already, you're, you are already broke with bad credit. Chicken is fun, of course. But you better know you're tricking. Don't pretend like you don't know you're tricking. These kids ain't have to be here and half of them ain't needed. Half of these kids that's here was needed. 45 years old, driving a whole car with a 450 credit score. I've met one or a few. Trying to be in a relationship, trying to have somebody build with them. Oh, yeah, no. No, sir. The same way you wouldn't build with a woman that's 45 years old and messed up. It's the same way women shouldn't deal with you either. Walker David, hey, cousin. Too many women lack pump pum principle. Oh, yeah, I talk about that. I went on a page and they were talking about women having casual sex. And, you know, one guy said... Casual sex benefit men more than we think. Because when it's women that will just have casual sex with a man, he don't, have to, he don't have to take her out. He don't have to spend no money. He doesn't have to give her any kind of commitment. But she will just have sex with him. He have three, four like that. He doesn't need a girlfriend. He doesn't need a wife. He could just go around and have casual sex until he die. Because women are not putting themselves in positions to be anybody's wives. 43, 730 credit score, one week on home. Nice. And it ain't gotta be 730, sir. As long as you're working on it and you know you're not doing anything to self-destruct, it's good enough. We're all people. We all falter. We all we all go through it. We go up and we go down. And I'm not trying to tell nobody my credit ain't never been 450. My credit been 450. But when I'm like that, I don't want to date nobody. I don't want to bring nobody down with me. I gotta focus on myself when I'm that down. Like, oh no. Uh, you know, I can't date you. Even if you're better, I can't. I'm going to drag you down. If a man isn't worship you as a black woman, what is, he, what is you doing? Are you married? I used to be. After divorce, yes, it makes me strong, but I kept until I did better. Yes, most people after divorce are ruined financially. Some people are not ruined, but it's, yeah, it's sketchy. We need more mindset like yours in the world. Yeah. That's why I'm here. That's why it's all these people on my live. Because ain't nobody really saying it like me. 31 years old, three kids. Love your kids, mama. Love your kids. Invest in your kids. Those are your investments. Me? I tell people every day, I said, if I never had kids, shit. I would have been driving a $100,000 car. Living in a high rise. I'm serious. People that knows me know I ain't lying. But I had to invest in them. I couldn't, I couldn't have them come up here and, and struggle the way I had to. I mean. Will you ever fall in love again? Ah, what a question. Excuse me. Ah. Oh. <coughs> Be right back. Sorry guys, I'm back. Mm -hmm. Let me see, we're Coca-Cola. Thank you, baby. Need a woman now. 32 with two kids, eight and nine, and because of them, I work hard. I stay with us so they can have. Make sure their daddy take care of them, girl. Don't play with them. Listen, run up to that man's house, stalk him. Make sure that man pay for his kids. He, didn't, he, he don't get to just fucking walk away. Let that hold that man. Listen, black women, we are going to stop this foolishness where we say, oh, oh, I'm a strong black woman. I don't need um, no man for nothing. Stop it. 
If you ever had a man in your life, a real man, you will know that you need a man for a lot of things. Stop it. I don't need a man for nothing. Do you think I'm going to stand here and I'm going to hang a motherfucking painting on that wall? I wish I would. I need a man to hang that fucking painting. Do you think if I'm in this house and somebody come and try to get in here, I want to go out there trying to defend myself? I need a man for that. I'm going to defend myself too because I'm not stupid. But I need a man for that. I need a man to provide for me to make me feel comfortable enough being a woman. As much as I can provide for myself, I have been. But I need a man for that. Men know they need women, but women always want to prove that they don't need men. We need each other. You might not need a little shysty man, a piece of shit man, but you do need one. I don't care how much you make. That shit can't keep you warm at night. Thank you, wet Coca-Cola. I don't care how much you make. That motherfucker can't keep you warm at night. You can turn a boy into a man too. Sometimes you can. You just gotta not deal with the boy shit. Like you gotta tell him straight up, sir, that's boy shit. You gonna be a man or you gonna go? Because boys are trainable. I told you all before. Boys are trainable. If he like you enough. I'm a strong black woman. I don't need no man. So you got them kids walking around here taking out your frustration on them because you don't need their daddy. You need their daddy. Drop them bitches off. And go out and be, have fun. You need their daddy. You need money from him. You don't need to be working two jobs just to raise kids. What time are you going to spend with the children? That's why these kids be fucked up. Because there's nobody raising them. I don't think anything of Queenie and Dewey. I'm not giving them no life. I don't think anything of them. I think they're masquerades. Both of them. Masquerades. Right? Fuck around in social media. Like, listen, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't bother myself with fuckery. Queenie, have done, Queenie, Queenie, Queenie done did her time. Queenie can't chill now. I'm trying to raise younger, younger women. Thank you, Jojo. I'm trying to raise younger women. Do not have to be 50-year-old year old, trying to pay 25-year-olds to love them. Because if you're 50-year-old and you're still single, you should be happy with it. It is what it is. Stop buying men. If you are buying men, you should know that you are buying this man and that's what it is. First time on your life and girl, yes, honey. This is what you get when you come over here. Say bless queen, gotta go to work. Thank you, Corey, Glenn. Thank you for your input, big respect. Yes, yes, this, this is the energy I like. I like this energy tonight. Ain't nobody cursing me out, doing me the most today. Oh my God. The men, ooh, the men are liking me. Look at that. Shit. I guess I'm going to keep this page because the men like me now. <laughs> yeah, like, you are a grown-ass woman with grown-ass children. Of course. Because, you see, a lot of women like Queenie, they didn't get to live their childhood. They, they, were, they, were, they had to grow up fast. So, you see, when they get to this age, they, they backtrack. You see how childish Queenie is? Queenie is sweet. You see how childish she is? She be jumping in trees and doing all that shit with you. You will bring out the child in her. But she, she should have known. He wasn't going to last. He wasn't going to last. Especially, he's a Jamaican man. And he's younger than her. Fucking shit wasn't going to last. I don't know who thought that shit was going to last. Yes, yeah, she regrets. Yes, yeah, she went back. Because one thing about your childhood, you have to live your childhood. And if you don't, you're going to go back to it. If you don't know who they are, I can't even tell you. I don't care if Queenie hear me. I don't care if Queenie hear me. Queenie gonna know I'm talking the truth. 